Sometimes the smartest people in the world are the dumbest. I don't mean dumb as in like, bleh. I mean dumb more in the sense of being very ridiculous. Lawyers especially. I have a quick tale, um, and I won't get into any details, and I'm not gonna say this guy's name or this law firm's name because I don't really feel like doxing my entire family. There's a law firm in the area. Well, my aunt lives in a house, and she lives in a rather nice house, and right next to this house, this lawyer is building his a chateau. This thing is like three floors. It's a big concrete building. This guy is obviously book smart because he went to two law schools. However, let's just say that they have like this, I guess the right term for it is a revoir in the backyard. It's just this big, I don't know what your terrain is like where you live, but where I live, Georgia has red clay. Red clay means big bowl where rainwater goes in it and it's disgusting. So we have this nasty little Shrek swamp. He tried to go fishing in it. I am sure he caught the biggest sea bass he's ever caught in that damn two inch tall thing of water. There were no fish in it. It's not a lake. He thinks it's a lake. It's not a lake. He firmly believes that he is building a house with a lake. But what's even more hilarious is literature. I would like to read this to you because this is one of the funniest things that my eyes have ever grazed upon. This is, keep in mind, one out of four lawyers at this firm. One of them does not even have a, a, like a, a, a description, right? The other two only listed like their achievements and education. Here's what this dude wrote for his. Started at this firm in 2013 and hit the ground running. When he first came to the firm, it was clear that he had striking potential to battle against the judicial system for clientele. Attorney a native of county and pernicious foe for insurance companies and authorities, is a brazen attorney with the ability to neutralize absurdity. Although Mrs. D who is one of the lawyers that he works with, is commonly called the bulldog of the court, Mr. H is an asp for justice, serving venomous bites with relentless speed against the injustices lurking throughout the material. He wrote this about himself. What an ass poll. But that got me thinking. He's not the only moron. I see one called Brian Wilson, the Texas law hawk. Okay, we are two fucking piano notes in, and we've already got him on a bike. We've already got him do popping a wheelie on a motorbike. Brian Wilson! It was so ominous. I didn't edit that to make that louder. I didn't edit that cut. That's as it happened. You ever almost sh yourself on camera because i just about did texas lawhawk brian wilson the texas lawhawk challenge of justice do process do wheelies it's hot out here brian wilson el halcon de la ley brian wilson the texas lawhawk they keep playing this eagle screech in the back, and I don't know if it's because I'm actually deaf or if it's doing this for y'all too, but I, my tinnitus, my, my tinnitus is really not good right now. So Brian Wilson is the Texas law hawk, and it appears here that, um, <sighs> he really likes popping wheelies. Did he really say in his commercial? Keep in mind, we're only halfway done. We're only 30 seconds in, and it's felt like a 10 minute video. Do justice? do wheelies, and then book it across the screen. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> what the? Well, well, well. It's no refusal weekend, so you have to blow. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna lose your license. I don't need to see anymore. In general. I'll never put them back on. I will always look like this now. And just not be able to see. There's no way this is a real law firm, right? Like, there, there, there's, there's, I have to put them back on because I, I, I actually can't see. This can't be a real thing. It's a real website! You know what? Everybody go subscribe to Brian Wilson. He tried his best. And it's bad. Uh, his best is bad, but it's his best. Hey, look, 
I just got a good comment come through on the streaming channel. I love your commentary. Thank you. I'm boring. Especially during streams, I never know what to say. Thanks for not being the last comment that I got. It's so hot in this goddamn house. Come here. Food time. Now this one is just um called criminal defense lawyers. That's literally all it is. They actually the comments on this video are actually really good reviews about these people. If you've been arrested, you'll need powerful trial lawyers. And Pasquale and Palumbo. Palumbo and Pasquale. I don't want to know the kind of bullying torment these poor kids had to go through in school with the damn names Palumbo and Pasquale. Hire us as your lawyers, and no one will violate your rights. I mean, no one. The guy on the left was terrifying. He went, I mean, no one. He fucking... Now, this is a Mosley Collins personal injury lawyer commercial. And th this woman is just so sweet looking. When they hurt me, I knew who to call. I knew who would help me, and I knew who I could trust. Mosley Collins. If you've been badly hurt... Wow, wasn't expecting him to look like Victor Newman. And want my help? Call me. There's never a fee until we win your case. Dial four. Damn! Did y'all see that? 2008, too. He's got some advanced ass crafting. Hi, I'm attorney Mosley Collins. In the past, I've spoken to you about accidents, but today I want to speak to you about faith in God. <laughs> Somebody said, ask Jesus for a better quality backdrop. Don't use our Lord for your wealth gain. That's sick. Yeah, that's what I'm... It's just, it's, that's a shitty thing to do. Do you know that Jesus gives help and hope to those who receive him? Okay, but what does that have to do with personal fucking injury? When I fall off of a ladder and get hung up by my leg on somebody else's property, I'm not looking for God, I'm looking for help! Getting into so this guy just comes out of the gate, Brian Loncar. Why is it that like all these people are coming straight out of Texas too? I, what is it about? A car wreck is no problem for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did I just see? Did he just f himself over? He wrecked a car. That's dedication or some shit. Or a death wish, that's something. Oh god, he did it again. Here's another Brian Lawn car. If a careless driver runs a red light, he's gonna wreck that bike on purpose. Watch him. You could get hurt in a car accident. Unless you drive one of these. That wasn't a bike, that was a fucking tank. What was the point of the tank? What was the point of the tank? What in the hell? What the hell? Sit. Sit. It's a strong power of a heavy hitter. Yes, but what does that mean? This one's called Take My Wife, Please. Local commercial? These are good. These are good. I want to make like a whole local commercial video. Whatever. Whatever? Last year, my husband served me with divorce papers on Christmas Eve. It ruined my Christmas. So after Christmas, I decided to hire Michael Gallagher as my attorney. And I ruined my husband's new year. This is... I'm Mike Gallagher. Give me a call if you need help. I'm sorry, I, I just to finish my sentence, I had to finish the video. And then this one, um, this one is great. Um, I've, I've heard of 1-800-VICTIM-2. Mm, you know you can never be too careful. Accidents happen all the time. They got this guy straight from Pixar. Not to make a dad joke, but this shit's nuts. You know I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. <laughs> Oh dear, not again. Oh my god! It just got hit by a fucking car! I'm not going to be a victim twice. I'm calling 1 800 Victim 2. A free 15 minute call can get you compensation for your injury. Why is he so much smaller than her? Who is this fucker on the right? Call 1 800 Victim 2. 
Don't be a victim twice. Call 1-800-VICTIM-2. Hablamos español. Their areas of service are Queens, New York, and the Bronx. New York!